Hotel Abu Haba, Iraq. In the Iraqi desert, just 18 miles southwest of Baghdad, lie the ruins of ancient Babylonia. In 1881, archaeologists digging at the ancient site unearthed tens of thousands of stone tablets dating back to the 6th century BC. Amongst the finds was a bas-relief carving depicting the Mesopotamian sun god, Shamash. This here is the Babylonian tablet of Shamash, which has this central disk right here with God Shamash right here and human beings right here. What's so cool in this depiction is that Shamash is shown as if he was some type of a giant, because he's much, much bigger than the rest of the people here. The enclosure has this type of a connection to the cosmos because you have a depiction of the moon, the sun, and Venus. Now, what I think is really cool is that up here, you have the celestial being that is sort of holding on to this disc. The fact that this celestial being has these two ropes attached to this disc leads me to think about misunderstood technology. The sun disc in the tablet of Shamash is described in the below text as such. The disc was sent there or put there to be worshipped in place of Shamash. It was the access point for the ancient Babylonians to communicate with their gods, in particular the sun god Shamash. This could actually be some method of communicating with the god himself. It is some form of a technology. Think of it as sort of a god button that the ancient Babylonians or Sumerians could push and be able to connect with Shamash. If the actual sun disk depicted on the tablet is ever found among the ruins of ancient Babylonia, will we discover that it is some sort of technological device? Perhaps further clues can be found by examining the story of an Incan ruler who wore a disc which allowed him to wield the power of the gods.